What's up guys, I hope you're all doing great. And about a week ago, I did a video on the Mavic Air range test. I took it out to an urban park and then a more suburban area and flew it around in conditions and in ways I figured that myself and probably a lot of you would be flying in. But anyway, some of you voiced your concerns. That wasn't really a fair range test. If you fly higher, you're gonna get better range. I know, I was trying to simulate typical conditions for typical flying and typical filming. Behind me is four and a half miles of open water. There's not a blip of Wi-Fi interference out here. And I'm gonna to say to heck with practicality and I'm gonna fly the Mavic Air as far as I can go. It's also really freaking cold and this metal bench is freezing my ass. So with no further ado, here we go. Take off. You may have noticed I'm getting a bit of southerly drift. I'm not sure exactly what's causing this. There was no wind on the shoreline, but there very well could be some out over the open water. However, I'm not getting a wind warning, and this drone is rated to handle winds of over 20 miles an hour. We've pushed the two mile mark, which is the advertised range for this drone, and we're still running strong. Pretty impressive. Battery level is low. The aircraft will go to the home point in 10 seconds. I strongly recommend against doing what I just did and canceling the automatic return home. I've flown my Mavic out here many, many times and know down to the second what I can expect. But this drone is all new to me and I don't recommend it at all anyway. Holy crap, three miles. Now the big question is, can I make it home? Yeah, I'm a little... <laughs> I can't believe I just did that. This is stupid. I honestly am concerned. 3.1 miles. That's awesome. That's about 50% more than the advertised range. Again, I strongly recommend against doing this because anything can happen, and especially over open water, the wind could kick up at any moment and any kind of headwind can greatly affect your ability to get home safely. The wind's picked up a little bit too. I can feel it. Um, Fortunately, I think it's now a tailwind to the drone, so that could work in my favor. Um, the flag still isn't moving much, but I can feel it on my face, and so I think it's blowing towards me, which is a good thing. Let's see. It's now literally a race against the clock, and doing the quick math in my head, things don't look good. I'm an envelope pusher, but... It looks like this time I might be paying for it. I'm still 6,000 feet over open water and I have three minutes of battery left and I'm traveling at 18.8 .8 miles per hour. Now, I don't need to give you guys a math lesson to figure that one out. I'm pretty damn worried at this point. Low battery warning. Landing. Holy 
At 13%, your drone enters automatic landing sequence. This is to safely land the drone and keep it falling from the sky and hurting someone or destroying itself in the case of an emergency battery situation. Critically low battery. You can't cancel it, but you still do have full control over your drone. Be extremely careful in these situations. Oh my god, okay, look, zero, 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 and I landed right there. Oh my god, guys, I can't believe that just happened. There you go, you feel vindicated yet? Three miles, baby. Hey guys, I don't want to hear any more crap on how I didn't give the Mavic Air a fair chance. You can't get any more crazy than that. So thanks for watching. I still can't believe it. Thanks for watching. We'll see you guys soon. Have a good one.